Huh? Hello everybody, I'm that one cat and welcome back to Meme Makeover, the series where I take a meme and I make it over. It's gonna be a good one today. We're we're doing the Vince McMahon me uh the Vince McMahon meme. <laughs> Try saying that three times fast. A normal person probably could. We're doing the Vince McMahon meme. Um, I like this one because it's it's one of those templates where you can kind of make your own jokes. There's a lot of different varieties. Um, I really like this one. For those of you who don't know, it's usually Vince McMahon, uh, the wrestling dude, the guy who I think he owned WWE or something. I, I can't remember. Um, and it's it's him progressively getting more aroused, I guess you can say. I don't, we'll go with that. I don't know. It's just, it, but his reaction's really funny. Like his his facial reaction's funny. It's usually like incremental to him eventually just like exploding in orgasmic euphoria. I don't know. He, he reaches nirvana or something in the last the last picture. He just. You know, I don't know why I have to explain this more. <laughs> There's probably a picture of it right next to me. They're gonna explain it. So um, today we're gonna be doing that one. I'm gonna be making this one as a template. So that means you can get it from Instagram. I'm gonna post it on Instagram after this video goes up and you can take the template and make your own memes. You can send them to me on Twitter at OneCatCartoon and uh, use the hashtag meme makeover and I'll feature it in my next meme makeover, and I think I have some to show at the end of this video. Hopefully I do, or else I'm gonna be very embarrassed. I have no friends. Let's get right into it without further ado. Let's do this. Also, I'm sorry that this is Overwatch themed. I'm really into Overwatch recently. I've, well, I've gotten back into Overwatch, so if you don't like Overwatch, I'm sorry, because there might be a few more Overwatch themed videos coming up in the future. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into the drawing. So for whatever reason, I decided to make Wrecking Ball the character in this meme makeover. I don't know why. I guess it's just because I've gotten into Overwatch again recently. Um, I used to play it on Xbox, now I play it on PC, and I've just... I've fallen in love with the game again, and at the time of recording this, Wrecking Ball is the newest character, and I absolutely love him. He is so much fun to play. He's adorable, he's hilarious, I love his personality, I love the voice of the robot, it's kind of like Kylo Ren, but like with an attitude, I just, I just, he's, he's hilarious, like I really feel like he is what Overwatch really needed, um, because I, the, some of the newer characters I wasn't really into as much, I just, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it, but I, I feel like he is exactly what they needed, he just like completely throws a wrench into so many strategies, and he's just hilarious to play. I love smashing into people and knocking people off levels and stuff. I feel like he's such an awesome character. So I think that's why I chose him to do this because uh, he was just like the character on my mind at the time. And I just thought it'd be really funny to draw him in a suit. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a sense like I love like most artists probably have like these crazy, really in-depth, interesting uh, reasons why they choose the characters that they choose and I'm just like yeah he's funny and I want to put a hamster in a suit and I don't know you, you can tell my level of professionalism I guess but uh, yeah I wanted to uh, I wanted to draw him because I I don't know I just I'm still practicing people and I feel like I really need to work on my expressions more he was actually kind of tough because his eyes are pretty much all black and it, it's hard to really give him an expression because I'm just terrible at drawing very subtle. Like, I can draw really big emotions, but like the really subtle ones I have a really tough time with. So that's why I wanted to do this was mainly just to practice some some subtle uh, emotions. Because in the Vince McMahon meme, he kind of doesn't have like a huge change until the end. Like the very last one is like the biggest emotion. So these first two frames, I guess, I don't know. His, his emotion is kind of like... <laughs> Placid, like he's sort of just uh, what's the word like catatonic. Like he doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> he's like, I don't know why I'm in this suit. Why am I? Why am I here? Uh, but I, I just think it makes it even more funny. But <laughs> so I'm trying to do shading. Um, still, like I said before, I'm still learning how to do more painterly things. I think after this one, well, no, I have one more video. That I need to record, um, and that's gonna be more like painterly. But I think after this, I'm probably gonna go back to more vector based stuff for a while. Because I really wanna work on my line work, and I really wanna work on my anatomy and stuff like that. Um, I think painterly stuff still, I just don't have enough, um, like, 
experience in it and I, I think I need to like practice it more because the colors still are sort of like muddy and they're not really like well blended but I'm getting there but I think after this I'm gonna go back to because uh, I really want to get into more like of a manga style and a manga style of like coloring and stuff where it's like more solid colors and um, stuff like that and uh, but this says uh, I like this I thought this turned out pretty well I, I like I like the, the last frame the most because I feel like I really nailed the expression and uh, you'll see that in a second coming up so what I did with this one is I, I'm pretty much just laying in the flat color first and then I go back in to do like the shading and stuff not really sure I'm convinced on that that implant in his forehead <laughs> like I don't know like drawing metallic surfaces is still sort of like a, a weird thing for me I've had a hard time doing that and uh, just like choosing colors like again like I said before with the with the the the, the kitten 76 one that I did previously um, I'm trying not to color pick I'm trying to try to like figure it out by just looking at it and I think I got them pretty close the shading I'm not really sure about though but who knows I'll get it better next time. Like I said before, probably in like a year or so, I'll probably do like a redux and I'll try to redraw some of these and see if I got any better. I'm also going to be reacting to some of my old artwork. I, I hate saying the word react, but I, it's, I think it's okay because it's my own stuff. Because uh, for those of you who don't know, I like I really don't like reaction channels and whatnot, but um, I really want to go back and look at some of my old artwork to, to inspire some of you out there who uh, feel like you're not good at drawing or you know you feel like you're kind of not moving forward with your artwork because um, dear Jesus like I felt like that for a while where I, I wasn't really getting any better but I looked at some of my old artwork from just like months ago and I've definitely improved so I uh, hopefully that will give you guys some inspiration it definitely made me feel better because like you know it, that's something you really should never do never erase any of your old artwork I probably say it like all the time but like don't erase anything even if it looks bad because you always want that I painted his eyebrows the wrong color or did I no never mind I thought I did <laughs> I thought his eyebrows were darker I guess that's some, that's usually something I do I usually have like characters with dark eyebrows but never erase anything um because you need that as like a milestone to see how far you've come from that point and if you're always erasing stuff you'll never know you'll never really truly see how you, you'll never see the improvement so definitely always keep your stuff you, you never want to erase anything um, but yeah like this is not, it's not too bad not too bad I did this in Photoshop I usually do most of my stuff on my iPad um, I think I might go back to using my iPad because Photoshop just really annoys me. The brushes just always seem to reset for some reason. I don't know who this Kyle dude is. Who is Kyle? Why are all his brushes in my Photoshop? Like, what happened to all the normal brushes in Photoshop? Does anyone know that? Can anyone, like, let me know? I, I looked it up online. I can't find anything. Um, I, I really never use Photoshop that much, but all of a sudden, like, all the brushes are gone. <laughs> But um, yeah, that's the finished work. Um, I'm gonna leave it blank. I'm gonna leave it as an empty, empty template. Um, but yeah, this is the finished thing. I like it. I think Wrecking Ball suits it very, very well. And uh, I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with. So make sure to get the template from Instagram and show me, show me your moves. Like Captain Falcon says, show me your moves. Anyway. I'll see you in the outro. Well, there you have it, everybody. The sun sets on another meme makeover, and I, I truly, truly like this one. I think this is my best one yet. I like the Drake one, um, but I think this one's my favorite, and uh, I'm really, I'm really into Overwatch. I'm sorry if I keep hitting the microphone. I'm really into Overwatch right now, so um, uh, there's probably gonna be some more Overwatch-themed things coming down the down the line, but yeah, if you want to see my previous meme makeover, I think is the previous one, was the Drake one. You can check that out. I have a, a box right here. Hopefully I can make the box like this big. I can make it appear like I'm a wizard, like I know YouTube magic. Ooh, there it is. Now it's gone. Whoa. My God, I'm like David Copperfield of YouTube, just with less... I don't know, but anyway, uh, so if you guys want to download this template or save the template, because that makes more sense, you can save the template from Instagram. All the links to my stuff are down below. It's um, that one cat with some underscores and stuff. It looks really confusing. I'm sorry. I couldn't I couldn't get that one cat because someone already took it. I was really upset about that. I wanted to be that one cat, but 
whoever this asshole is, he took it, so I couldn't get the name. So um, you guys can go follow me on Instagram. That's where I post all my memes, all my artwork, all that stuff. Um, take the meme, take the template, uh, add whatever joke you want to, and then send it to me on Twitter at one cat cartoon. Um, use the hashtag meme makeover so I can find it a little bit easier. Uh, the only thing I ask is don't do anything lewd, don't do anything gross or messed up. Don't do anything that I can't post on YouTube, essentially. And also, don't mess with my watermark. That's the only thing I ask. Just don't, like, cover up my watermark or something. But you can add your own watermark if you want to. I will credit you in the video. But I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. I think this is a good template for a lot. It's got, it's got good greatness to it. It's got some, it's got great potential, I think. So I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with. And I'll feature that on the end of my next meme makeover. I don't think I have any meme makeovers today to show you guys. No, no one sent anything in, so please send some stuff in. So I don't feel like a I don't feel like a loser. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. So if you want to support me, you can follow me on or pledge to me on Patreon, and uh, you guys can get behind the scenes sketches and stuff and all sorts of cool things on the Patreon. You can get your name on the awesome wall of cats. I probably should promote that more. The Awesome Wall of Cats, I post this at the end of my comics. Um, I'm going to post it monthly on Instagram, so if you guys want to uh, be on the wall, if you guys want to be credited with helping that one cat out, uh, you can support me on Patreon. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, as I said previously. The comics! The co yes, okay. The comics. Um, check out Webtoon. It's free. It's all free. It's an awesome website. There's tons of awesome comics on there. I'm on there, that one cat. Um, my series is called Cat Stuff, and it's just a random plethora of just weird stuff. So if you like my humor, if you like my weird art style or lack of style, check out Cat Stuff. Links to everything is down below. I think that's it. Uh, I think we had a good meme makeover today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. And again, I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. If you come up with something, hopefully I'm not empty handed next time. If you have any suggestions for things you'd like to see me draw or any challenges, um, I would like to start doing some drawing challenges, but I feel like drawing in general is a challenge for me. So I don't know how well I'll do on the challenges. Maybe they'll make it more entertaining though, if I blow it and I'm terrible, but if you guys have any uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. if you guys have any <laughs> god damn it if you guys have any suggestions for how to speak like a human being if you guys have any suggestions um please let me know in the comments anything you guys want to see me draw or talk about or whatever 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 you want whatever you guys want i i'll just let me know in the comments um, i'll read them so ba 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 bow see you guys next time